Cleveland Bridge at Phil Hardberger Park is the first of its kind to connect pathways for humans and animals to cross safely over Wurzbach Parkway. We're talking to Phil Hardberger himself to hear about his vision and get an update on construction. It started out with a necessity because the park was divided into two halves, split by Wurzbuck Parkway, which was still being built, but clearly was going to separate out the park. The park is large, 330 acres, and, but we wanted to make it one park, not two parks. So that was how it began. When we started looking at the logistics of, well, how do you do it? We started all the way from just a regular highway bridge that you see. But we thought, wait a minute, the park is also for the animals. They're not gonna cross a regular highway bridge. So you're gonna have to have something that entices them to cross from one side to the other, because they will do that. And then we came up with this idea of a land bridge, which both people can use and animals can use, and they can go freely from one side to the other without getting in each other's way. Then we turned to the aesthetics because we also wanted the bridge to be beautiful, add to the beauty of San Antonio and of the park. And um, we've given quite a bit of thought to how you do that best and still have it work for people and animals. We knew we were gonna have what we hoped to be a jewel of a bridge but we got to thinking, what does a beautiful ring have? Well, it might have a diamond in the center, but it's also gonna have a nice setting if it's a really nice ring. So what is the setting we could do so that people knew that know that this is different? They had not been in any place like this. So we built a skywalk that goes up through the top of the trees and ends on the bridge itself. There will still be conventional ways to get on the bridge, but those that want to start at ground level, walk up through the trees, will eventually end up where we're standing right now. The Conservancy is a nonprofit that gets to focus on Phil Harburger Park. So we partner with Parks and Rec to provide programming here in Harburger Park and also to provide support and funding um, for some of those things that you know, the city can't quite cover. In the beginning, you know, uh, there was a master plan for Phil Harburger Park that was developed through a lot of input from the community. So the Conservancy's job then was to make sure that that community vision was realized. And we worked to uh, advocate for it, to get it on that uh, 2017 bond, and to inform the public, to inform bond committee members then also to make sure that we raise the private dollars to match that. So while the bond provided $13 million, the uh, private citizens and uh, foundations provided $10 million, and that was through the Conservancy. The Parks Department's role in helping bring the vision of the land bridge to life primarily is helping build it. So Public Works uh, delivers the bond program on behalf of the city, but we've worked very closely with the project team as we've attended all the meetings and making sure that the progress for the project stays on task so that ultimately we can bring the vision of the land bridge to life. Uh, and at the end of the day, bringing the land bridge to life is not only the vision of the conservancy, but also the public. The land bridge, I think, speaks to our value of public green space and conservation of nature. One of the things that the Parks Department will be doing is designing a camera study that will not only track human mobility throughout the park, across the land bridge, but wildlife as well. And then we'll utilize that to help tell the story of the benefits of conserving wildlife as we look ahead to programming opportunities once it's constructed. at Hartburger Park is almost completed and we can't wait for you to see it. For more information, visit our website and follow us on social media.